Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to look at finding the surface area of spheres and hemispheres. So as we're looking at a sphere, what we're essentially looking at is like a 3D version of a circle. It's like a ball-shaped object. Just like circles, a sphere is going to have a radius which runs from the center of the sphere out to the edge, and we've also got diameters that run the full length all the way across a sphere. Now if we're talking about surface area of a sphere, If we think back to what we talked about with circles as far as their area, in order to find the area of a circle we do pi r squared or pi times the radius squared. The surface area formula for a sphere is going to be very very similar. In order to find the surface area of a sphere it's still related to what our radius is but this time we do 4 times pi times the radius squared in order to find the surface area for a sphere. So as we take a look at this first example, our sphere has a radius of 5 inches. So as we're looking at our surface area formula, it says we're going to do 4 times pi times the radius squared. So if we plug that into our formula, we've got 4 times pi times 5 squared. Well, 5 squared is 25. And then if we take the 4 times the 25, we end up with 100 times pi. And then if we type that into our calculator, I'm going to go to two decimal places, we get 314.16, and we should throw a label on here. Our measurements were given to us in inches, so this is inches squared, since we're talking about an area. Taking a look at our next example, this time we're given the diameter of our sphere. In order to find the radius, all we have to do is take that diameter and split it in half. So we're going to take that 16 centimeter length and split it in half. So that'll tell us that our radius is 8 centimeters. So now if we're looking at our surface area formula, if we take 8 squared, that's 64, and then 64 times the 4 out in front is 256 times pi. And then if we type that into our calculator, again, I'm going to go to two decimal places. So we get 804.25 centimeters squared for our area. Now we're going to shift gears a little bit and talk about a hemisphere. And a hemisphere is just half of a sphere. As we're looking at finding the surface area of a hemisphere, I first want to look at the surface area of a whole sphere. As we're looking at a whole sphere, the surface area is 4 pi r squared. But with a hemisphere, we don't have the full sphere to look at. We've only got part of it. And in fact, we've got half of it. So as we're looking at the surface area, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and split it in half. Well, 4 divided by 2 is just 2, and then we have pi r squared. So that takes care of the domed portion of our hemisphere. But there's actually another face that's created when we cut this sphere in half. And the face is a circle. So we also have to account for the area of that circle as well. And if you think about it, area of a circle is pi r squared. So I know we cut this in half, but now we need to add something additional onto this. Okay, the area of that circle that we said we were adding is pi r squared. So now if we look at doing a little combining, here we've got 2 pi r squared, but if we add another pi r squared, we have 3 pi r squared. And 3 pi r squared is the surface area formula for a hemisphere. So as we take a look at this last example, here we've got a hemisphere with a radius of 2 feet. So our surface area formula says we do 3 pi r squared. So if we do that, if we do 3 times pi times our radius, which is 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, 4 times the 3 out in front is 12 pi, and then if we take 12 times pi, we end up getting 37.70 as our final answer. We should throw a label on this. We're measuring in feet, so this is feet squared. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.